Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Welcome to the stock market, where tens of millions of people every day place their money down on their favorite stocks in hopes of one day hitting and landing the moon. Many people get into the stock market believing all they have to do is just pick the right stock at the right time and it'll go up and it'll make them millionaires. But it doesn't seem to be the truth because every time the stocks that they choose go up, they end up rebounding and coming right back down to the bottom where they started. My name is CSI and I'm an investor. And I was sitting here doing my homework trying to track down all the fundamentals that I need for my next investment when I received an email from a distressed investor who was not only looking for answers but helped provide some herself. Her issue was with the brokerage app called Weeble, which many people still use, including myself. And she says, listen, Weeble knows about splits and dividends and all before we do. What they are doing is restricting trading because they know these stocks go high or squeeze during these meaning the stock splits and dividends. They did it with Tide. All platforms were trading but Weeble. I got my Tide and lost two bucks per Tide. GME people were trading at 39 and I got mine unrestricted at 35. By the time Weeble had unrestricted, I had lost a thousand bucks because others were able to trade. And on Sundial, I was able to cash mine out on Moomoo for more than 330 bucks a share this morning before Weeble unrestricted. By time Weeble unrestricted, what were they, CSI? If you can get the policy from Weeble about the time and how long they can restrict a stock. Anyway, I am doing this to help you. If you want to share it, you share it. But don't mention my name. Get out of Weeble. Now what she's referring to is the fuckery that Weeble, i.e. Apex Clearinghouse is doing during these splits. First, there was the BBIG tie, crypto tie dividend. At that moment, when they gave the dividend, Weeble restricted trading, along with TD Ameritrade and a few others. This trade tracked us back to realize that it was the Apex Clearinghouse, which I've said all along, which was the problem. The thing is, we did not learn from the BBIG crypto tied dividend. As soon as they restricted trading on Weeble or any other Apex brokerage, we should have immediately switched out of there. But we didn't learn our lesson. Then came the GME four for one split, which everyone believed would bring the MOAS. However, GameStop was halted on Weeble and other Apex clearinghouse brokerages for one to two days. Now it didn't last for two days, but the stock had stopped trading on these platforms. The third instance we've had of this situation is when Sundial, which I believe was kind of messed up, we, we knew that they were talking about doing a split, but nobody knew when, and next thing we know we wake up and it's 10 for one split, and the stock had been restricted on Weeble TD Ameritrade and some other Apex brokerages and now we see what's really going on. Now, the person who wrote the email asked me to get with Weeble maybe and find out what exactly was going on and I did. I reached out to them and they shared with me this in the help center that the following corporate actions will affect trading in stocks. All right. If they have a name change, including changes in symbols, crisp, or stock names, the stock will be halted generally for one to two trading days. If they change to the OTC, stocks move to the OTC markets from major exchanges. Unless the stock moves back to the major exchanges, it'll be halted. Delisted. The removal of a listed security from a stock exchange will cause a permanent restriction on that stock in Weeble. The fourth one is a split. The company divides its existing shares into multiple shares to boost the liquidity of the shares and it will be halted for generally one to two trading days. The next one is a reverse stock split. 
company consolidates the number of shares of stock into fewer, proportionally more valuable shares. When that happens, Webull, i.e. Apex, will generally stop trading on that stock for one to two days. Now, it's already happened, water under the bridge. So I look back and I say, okay, who can I fault for this? Well, I don't fault Apex Clearinghouse because they know the hole they have dug themselves. They are fighting for their survival. And they have set these mechanisms up to help protect them. The first person that I blame for this is the YouTubers who were so busy making videos of liquidity is out and the MOAS is here. And not a single one of them suggested that we check with our brokerages on what reasons they can halt our investments. But the biggest person I blame is myself. Because if I'm putting my money into a stock, I need to know all the reasons why they can halt it and stop trading on it at any time. So, here's my solution, people. What I'm doing today, I'm calling each of the four brokers that I'm still in and I'm going to ask them specifically the question, can you help me navigate through the website to show me where and for what reasons you can halt the stocks that I am invested in? Now, you don't have to name a particular stock. You just tell them, I need to know. Show me on your website how and why you can halt a stock that I'm invested in for one to two days while other brokerages are continuing to trade and I'm losing out on money. And the third thing I'm going to do is suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do. I mean, they've happened. The BBIG tide happened. The GME and, and Sundial splits have already happened. But we can get ahead of them and know in advance. My next course of action after talking to my brokers, which I've already started doing, I've taken shares that I own in AMC, in Weeble, and I've cashed them out, and I moved them over to Moomoo, because there apparently doesn't seem to be a problem with Moomoo, and if you don't have a Moomoo account, look down in the descriptions below, you'll get a free share, y'all know all that shit, but the point is, it appears as if on the first round, Moomoo is upstanding. Whereas we can see Weeble, TD Ameritrade, and the other Apex Clearinghouse Brokers firms are not. So, there you go. That is what my course of action will be first thing this morning. Number one, I will find out why you can stop my stock from trading. And you're going to show me on your website. Number two, I'm going to start transferring my shares of AMC from Weeble and Apex clearing houses over to Moomoo since it doesn't seem to be a problem. And thirdly, I'm just going to have to suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> and so will you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little enlightenment and a little direction to go in this morning. I love y'all. Be blessed. And I'll be starting my next video after I get through with breakfast.